That's a good looking bike. And leaning against a good looking car. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can win this pair of nuke-proof pedals and nuke-proof grips. Ooh, ah. I'm giving these away, celebrating 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, y'all, for subscribing, watching, and liking my videos. I greatly appreciate it. You think the yellow was overkill? Guys, this is my Ferrum LVN 160. In this video, I'm gonna do a first ride impressions. I've actually had this bike for quite a while, a couple months, but I haven't done a first ride impression, so that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna tell you what I think about this steel full suspension that is made in Tennessee, made in the USA. Really, really cool. I think it's just one guy that makes these. There might be some other people that help Matt, but the Matt at Ferrum is the main guy that I have contacted, and they did a wonderful job on the welds quality of this frame is just superb. So yeah, let's stare at this bike for just a little bit longer. Welcome to the family sticker up here. That's official. When you buy a Ferrum through Matt, through the website, you've got the choice of a custom color for an extra fee. And I, of course, went with the yellow to uh, match my Ford Focus ST here. But yeah, let me know what you think of this bike in the comments, guys. Enough staring. Let's get out on the trail, and I'll give you my first impressions of the Ferrum LVN 160. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was incredible. Man, Hammer Down is running so good right now. They recently buffed it. I had no idea. It's so smooth right now, especially on the Ferrum LVN 160. One thing that I really, really like about this bike is how plush and soft it feels. I think that's a characteristic of the steel, the vibration dampening effects of steel for sure but also it's just like the suspension kinematics of this bike it is a it is a single pivot but it's a single pivot with the linkage back here and then there's some pivoting effect at the uh, the linkage as well it's so incredible how this bike feels over chunk and chunder it just glides right over that stuff really good let's get over to another trail all righty pedaling on over to barn burner I haven't shown this trail off on my channel in a long time. And they recently resurfaced this also. Nope. Oh. Hey guys. Hey. All right. Woo. I overcleared that one. <laughs> Went to, went to flat, so reset. <laughs> Following this F down barn burner. Okay, smoothed it out, it's running so good right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Can you see how deep I sent that yeah. one? Yeah, I did. Good grief. You sent it, dude. <laughs> that was a bit much. <laughs> All right. That was barn burner. That's what this bike likes. Jumps in the trunk. 
This right here though, the climbing, eh, not so much. It does all right though. I'll save my full thoughts for my review of this bike, which will be coming in the future. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Now that the sun is out, y'all might be able to see the Gold Flake paint job, custom paint that I got on my frame here. But yeah, this frame is beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. All right, the jumps are feeling good. Gonna go over to the uh, drop here. Just gonna see how the drops feel before going over to some even bigger jumps. So see you guys here on the drop in Yeah. yeah, the drops feel good, the jumps feel good, the chunk feels good. This bike just feels incredible. I think it's time for some coffee. What do you guys think? Coffee time. Bella Vista has got the scenery, that is for sure. Beautiful. So, a ride impression wouldn't be a ride impression without some climbing <laughs> and some thoughts on climbing. As I said earlier, I'm going to save most of that for my full review, but I will say that this bike climbs just fine. It's not bad. I will say though, I'll be honest. You do feel the weight. You do feel the weight, for sure. But it's not bad. And a bonus comment. Guess the weight of this bike. Fully built up. And guess in this format here. If anyone guesses spot on, they will automatically win the pedals and the grips. Whoever guesses first wins. Made it up to the top of Mad Hatter. Whew. A little bit of a climb, not too bad on this bike. Okay, let's get on Mad Hatter, another jump line with some even bigger jumps. Let's get it. Alrighty, Mad Hatter. Good stuff. Yeah. Nice. All right. Going into the uh, drop down here. Yeah. Right, good stuff. This is a Ferrum, it's a steel full suspension. Yeah, yeah. it is a sick bike, isn't it? <laughs> Super sick bike. Great bike, feels so, so good on this stuff. I mean, honestly, it feels good on most everything. Climbing, so-so, but it's so plush and supportive and poppy on jumps, surprisingly poppy on jumps. Going off the of drops, like this one here, just feels like it soaks all of it all of it up. The back end surprisingly feels bottomless. Even with that kind of short stroke length, you can see where my ring ended up, and that's about where I like it on decent sized drops. But I'll tell you what, there's one more drop in the area that I just have to do that I'm gonna show you guys. So. See you guys at Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve, and we'll go do that drop.
cease and desist. This bike loves to jump. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with the flat. <laughs> what? 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 Man, this is where this bike comes alive. And we're going over. We drop the hammer. We got this little drop here first. Yeah. Ooh, all right. We made it to drop the hammer. That's a big drop. Yeah. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Lion. Man, this bike feels absolutely incredible. <laughs> the jumps and the drops. <laughs> Man, that's so good. So good. So that's the Ferrum LVN 160 on drop the hammer. It feels absolutely incredible. Surprisingly, this bike feels bottomless in its suspension. You can see where my shock ended up on that last drop. I think I sent it pretty deep, a little bit more than 12 feet. And I still have maybe three millimeters to spare in the rear. So it's doing pretty well. That really is my first impressions of this bike. It's super, super plush and supportive while still being poppy off of jumps, poppy enough for what I need. And yeah, the climbing is not so great, but I did not build this bike for its climbing. It's not meant for that. It's meant for jumps, it's meant for drops. That's what I built this bike for and it is fantastic at that. So that's gonna wrap it up here at the trail. I'm gonna head back home and tell you how you can win a pair of nukeproof pedals and grips. All right, guys, all that you need to do in order to be entered to win these nukeproof grips and pedals is like the video, share it, subscribe to my channel, and then also let me know in the comments what you think about the Ferrum LVN 160. Would you rock a steel full suspension? And a bonus comment. Just say hi to Terry. Hello, Terry. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for your viewership. It really, really means a lot. Thank you. See you in the next one.